Live from American University in Washington, D.C., this is What's New at AU. Here's your hosts, David Alessandrini and Danny Moore. Hi, I'm David Alessandrini. And I'm Danny Moore. Welcome to What's New at AU. For our first story, we go to the campus of American University. School's out, so why are there so many high school students here? Jenna Merchant and Maylee West have the story. Every summer here at American University, high school students travel from all over the world for Discover the World of Communications, an exciting opportunity in which they learn about specific communication disciplines in workshop-style classes while experiencing life on campus. I'm here at the School of Communication in the Mary Green Center. We sat down with the director of the program and others to find out more about Discover the World of Communications. Uh, the Discover the World of Communication program was started 18 years ago as a single course in the uh, Film and Digital Institute. And I taught that course in script writing and video production. And then slowly and strategically, we added another course and then another course and then it became its own program, Discover the World of Communication. Now we have over 500 students here participating in the program in Washington, D.C. and we'll have another 120 students participate in our program out at UC Berkeley uh, the end of July, the first part of August. So what started off with one class and eight students and one professor has now expanded to over 600 students from 40 states, 17 countries, 37 professors, 20 teaching assistants, and a whole on-campus uh, after-hours evening and weekend program. I love having the feeling of freedom and being able to do what I want. It's, it's really fun. Well, what an interesting story. It's amazing how much the program has grown. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Jenna and Maylee. Since its start in 1996, the DWC program has educated young students in the field of communications and continues to grow each year. Over 1,500 freshmen have enrolled at American University for the 2013-2014 school year. For our next story, we send it to Goldie Robbins, who is covering freshman orientation at American University. We are here on the quad where incoming freshmen are gathered to orient themselves with their soon-to-be classmates. Current AU students are showing the freshmen around the campus to give them a feel of what school will be like in the fall. We caught up with incoming freshmen as well as administration members to talk about what they believe makes American University the place to be in D.C. What made American stand out for you when you were looking at colleges? Uh, the reason why I chose American was primarily for their international relations program at their international school of service. What do you believe American can offer you during your four years here? Uh, internships, that's the one thing that they promised me that I really want, and access to the city. What is the reason you chose to come to freshman orientation and what are you looking to get out of the experience? Uh, I came to meet some new people, um, just to kind of see the other kind of people who were applying at the same time I was, and I hope to gain a new friend. How does being in the nation's capital affect the social atmosphere? Um, I would have to say our students are very competitive. I think that there is a very uh, typical AU student who's very driven, very smart, very talented, um, and likes to be involved. And this is the right place for them because we are the most politically active campus in the nation according to um, the Princeton Review. That's all for us here at Freshman Orientation. Now back to David and Danny in the studio. Thank you, Goldie. It looks like the incoming freshmen are having an excellent time meeting their new classmates. The freshmen will be arriving in the fall, but AU's campus will soon receive some other new additions. Now we go to Jaya, who has information on the new construction happening on campus. Let's see what she and others have to say about what's new on the campus of AU. Looks like AU is upgrading. There's new construction going on in McKinley, creating the new School of Communications. There's also new restaurants and shops coming along the AU Pavilion, such as Sweet Green, Argo Tea, and Starbucks. Let's see what the people have to say about the new things coming to AU. It's just going to be more diversity in the food. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to it, and I think a lot of people are. We interviewed John Douglas, an associate professor here at AU School of Communications. He told us about the history of the school and how classes and offices are located in various buildings. When the remodeling of the McKinley Building is completed, it will include new studio spaces, production facilities, intelligent classrooms, and a larger theater. All of the faculty offices will be located in one building, which will lead to a more cohesive school of communication. With all the construction happening on campus, I'm excited to see what AU will have to offer in the future. I'm Jaya Guy, and that's all for What's New on AU. Thank you, Jaya. I'll be looking forward to seeing the new and improved McKinley Building right after I pick up my Frappuccino from Starbucks. Reporters Nina and Daria took a naked look at the Smithsonian National Zoo. Let's see what they learned. I'm Daria Kalinovskaya reporting from the Smithsonian National Zoo to see what's going on with the small mammal house. We, right now we have three small colonies, um, two with six animals each and one with eight because they're getting a little bit older and they, um, they have to be kept under very strict temperature and humidity conditions. They have to have a lot of uh, space to move around in and they really have to be managed very carefully. It's a very unusual looking exhibit and that's because the animals are blind. I wanted to design an exhibit that gave an implicit message that vision was not important, so it does not look naturalistic, but it feels and smells and sounds naturalistic to them. I'm constantly surprised by mole rats. I mean, they are truly unique animals. They are always surprising, they're always doing new things, they're always doing unique things. Wow, that was really interesting. I learned a lot about naked mole rats. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Nina and Daria, for that insight into one of DC's best free attractions. Well, that's it for us here at What's New at AU. I'm Danny Moore. And I'm David Alessandrini. You stay classy, AU. Be sure to tune in next time on What's, What's New, New at, at AU. AU.